Yo, 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 they call me N to the B U W Z. I'm a rapper, it's all about God and my music. Um, when did I start rapping? Well, general, I stay way back 2009, 2008, on the general. But I've always been into music way back since I was six. But the love for rap came up back when I was in secondary school. You know that kind of feel when you just want to start um, migrating from loving the general music to so particular genres and you just get stuck on one. The whole thumpy feel of rap music and it all got to me and that was when it started. But I mean, you got it right bro. That's where it started from. Um, I was in the church choir at the age of six. Um, you know when you were in church, the Sunday school, that was when my, my love for music started growing from and I was just so into it. It was all I was all about. I could stay from morning till night playing the keyboard at home, man. That was how it started. <laughs> Seriously? No, 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 I wasn't high when I came up with that. Well, N-Boss, N-Boss is coined out from my name. N is the initial of my surname, which is Mwunkulu. I'm an evil guy from Anambra State. So N starts for my, um, the initial of my name. And then Buzz, my name, my first name is Chibuzo. So when you take the B-U-Z-O, take the O, put another Z there, you got it, N Buzz. That's where I started from. Yeah, I do indigenous rap. Um, it's not something I'm perfect in already, but it's something I'm putting work in. And in my, um, my EP that's gonna be released very soon, you're gonna be hearing some indigenous rhymes in it. So it's something that I'm working on and I'm gonna get better on it. In my story, um, the mountain, my story, man, I don't think we'll be done here, but I'll just give a summary. Um, my, story, my, story, my story about music started like this. Um, from six, I started music, doing um, church music, you know, working in the choir, working for God, that kind of music. And then as time went on, I felt a need for more music. And by the time I got to secondary school, I started having more influence from rap. Um, rap music became my lifestyle. Rap music became something that I got attracted to. And in the gospel, there was nothing that was feeding me. It was nothing that was feeding my spirit. It was nothing that was feeding my, my mind. And I really wanted to explore rap. And then I started with likes of Eminem, likes of 50 Cent, likes of Tupac. And I just got way, way deep into rap music. And before I knew it, I headed to the studio. I, I had to record a song. I mean, I remember the first, um, the, the first, um, how I put it, the first song I did just on my phone. I, I played to my friend, like, dude, how does it sound? Does that sound good on the music? And he was like, yeah, yeah, you should go into music. You should go into I'm like, okay. I headed for the studio. I did something. It wasn't gospel, all right? It wasn't gospel. I, I, I started basically with rapping about stuff um, that you would, I wouldn't want to stay on camera right now, but just regular, the regular, um, the regular music, the regular music was what I was doing. And it didn't give me that kind of fulfillment that I wanted. It didn't give me the kind of fulfillment that I wanted because I knew I wanted more from music. I knew I wanted more from music, but that was all I could have. That was all I could have. I didn't have that in the gospel. And ever since then, I was drowned in it. I found myself doing stuff that I wouldn't want to do. I found myself saying things I wouldn't want to say. And music just brainwashed me. And I just knew that I wanted more. You know that kind of inner feeling that you know that you're doing the wrong thing, that you know that you, are, you can be better than what you were doing. I had that and I knew there was, there was need for me to change. And that was where the change from the regular to the, uh, to the, to the gospel came in. And now I'm all about preaching the gospel on songs. Music saved my life. Yes, music did save my life. Music is my best friend. Music is some, I, I, I classify music as a girl. So, so, so sometimes you might hear me talking about, uh, maybe you might listen to my song, I might think I'm referring to a girl, but sometimes I'm referring to music. Music is like my girlfriend, music is like my wife. So music is some, some, someone, not something to me, someone I, I wake up with every morning. Music is someone I talk to when I'm bored. Music is someone that keeps me alive. So. <laughs> a Christian rapper or a rapper who's Christian. First, I'm a rapper. You get me? I'm a rapper. I don't want to profile myself to limit me, to limit my outreach, to limit my fans. I do truth music and I really want to get that out clear. 
I do truth music, T-R-U-T-H, and what's truth music all about? Truth music is all about you saying the truth, no matter what it is. And if you hear me talking about God on my songs, then God is the truth. That's the basic. I do truth music, so I wouldn't want to call myself a Christian rapper. I wouldn't want to admit myself to the church because basically I don't do, I don't do music for the church. I do music for the world, the world at large. So I wouldn't call myself a Christian rapper. I'll call myself someone who, a rapper who does truth music. That's who I am. I would say um, people who rap about God and their songs have been profiled for too long. And they try to create that bracket for them to just profile them and keep them on a part of the industry, limiting them to the church. Do you get what I'm saying? Limit them to the church as the, as the congregation, as the audience. But, but, but in general, I won't call Christian, I, I won't call CHH uh, a general. Rather, I'll call it, I'll call rap the general, right? Now, what you rap about is left to you. What you rap about is left to you. Someone shouldn't just get profiled and limited all because he raps about God. That's not cool. For people who divert, at some particular point in their career, I would say they were never guided at first. They never knew why they wanted to do music. If you know why you want to do music, there should be nothing that should distract you or, should, or, 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 or that will make you change your mind. If someone doesn't want to listen to my music because I, I talk about God and my song, I talk about the truth, then I know there's going to be someone out there who still wants to hear the truth, who still needs the truth, and would buy my songs and would download my songs because I speak the truth on my songs. So I don't see myself going anywhere speaking nothing less than the truth. I don't have to go to the court when you place your hand on the Bible and say I swear to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. Man, I swear on my music to speak, to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. But of course I want to give it up to Proverbs for that move because besides the dopeness, besides the coolness besides the um, cool rap I would say that what he was able to do what I see him achieve on that particular platform was to unite rappers in the Christian hip-hop and basically that is an achievement for me but besides that I would say um, there's some there's, there's, there's still more there's still more work I feel like we should do and if you listen to the message of the song the um, message I got from the song was directed at um, people or, or, or at rappers in, in CHH being neglected by the media, being um, profiled, being profiled. And I would say that your music being profiled is not, is not because you speak about God, but rather the, the quality of your music. I would say rappers in CHH should focus more on their content to focus more on the quality of music, to focus more on promotion. Because a lot of rappers in CHH do rap promotion. I won't lie to you. Yes, they don't, they don't put enough work in the promotion and they limit themselves a lot. They limit themselves a lot, they limit their content a lot, they limit their promotion a lot to just the Christian world. And you don't want to, how will you get out there if you just limit yourself to people who already know you already? <laughs> Every form of music has the right to be accepted or neglected. Now, the industry is not the media. The industry, to me, is the fans. I get to what I'm saying. If you can get your songs out there to people who want to hear you, then it's left for them to accept you or reject you. Now, how you get yourself out there is left to you. The kind of work you put in getting yourself out there, that's left to you. How do you want to run your promotions? That's left to you. You need to target your audience. You need to know how to reach out to them, what they like. Protects lying, being profane. Well, I'll say this. If you're doing gospel, do plainly gospel. If you want to rap about God, rap about God. God, Jesus Christ doesn't condone profanity. And you insulting people's mothers, I mean, that's what Eliya means, right? It's not cool. Okay, get that, it's not cool. So if you, if, if you want to do gospel, let people know that you are doing gospel. There's no need for profane words in your songs. I don't believe in any form of profanity. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. I'm not, I'm not down with profanity. It's not cool. Profanity is meant for people who, who, who. Uh, I don't even know what to say anymore. But I also profanity is not cool. 
Okay, that's why the Bible says, um, do not be, said the Bible in Romans, I think Romans chapter 8 says, it says, um, be, 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 do not be conformed to the world, but rather be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And when your mind is renewed, automatically, you wouldn't even, by mistake, say profane words. So I think Christians and Christian rappers should first work on the renewal of the mind before they can work on the, the renewal of, the, of their content in their music. Yeah, I've been working on my EP for quite some time now. And um, come June 25th, it's going to be released to the public. The title of my EP is Vain, which means verily all is nothing. Vain in, 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 in the context of the word means vanity. And verily all is nothing. That's the meaning of each of the letters in the word. So it's just a song containing, it's just an EP rather, containing seven to eight songs. And one being a spoken word. Because I do spoken word, all, I, I, I do spoken word also. True. So you're gonna have um, spoken word content. You're gonna have real music content on it, truth music content on it, basically. Of course, of course. I'm, I'm always, I'm always ready for drop to drop some bars. Yo, yo, yo. I'm about to rap and I'll rap press right now. Yo. We're coming into the B U W Z. Yo. Alright, listen up. You put a song in my head, a pen in my hand, you said, rap this. Tell my people I'm the God of Abraham and Isaac, also Jacob. So tell the mother, wake up. The face you show my glory, but it cover it and make up. I made the world and I can make it go away, though I won. I bowed and so I sealed it with a rainbow. Look beyond, I made everything you see. Oh, now you look in my face and y'all tell me you don't exist. Come on. How could you say that? After all my son did, you know he suffered for the sins, including Adam and Eve. He was there from the creation. He was there when I promised Abraham I would make him father of all nations. I wake up in the morning, then I kneel and pray to God. I ask him for a sunny day, then I think of my job. It's game on. I'm putting my shades on. I'm out of face laughing, so I ask for his grace, guys. People want to play me, man, I think the Lord has saved me. I testify there's nothing I'm ashamed of. When you see me on the street, man, you probably want to greet. But I'm thinking how to murk this beat. I see you're here, kids who call themselves the street kings. They got big dreams, don't know how to reach them. Acting so wayward, ain't you got no pay rent? You say you run the street, but they forget to pay rent. No longer get peace when people talk about me, I'ma succeed. Y'all watch them be the witness. I did this, I did that. That's their own pee when they ain't got a job. How can they mind their business? They find strength looking for my very new weakness. I got none, so focus on my fitness. The truth hurts. Watch me slam it to your face. You feel the pain. I'm sorry for the violent rage. Yeah. Send ball in the mic, yo.